You are not gonna believe this, look. Their dog left a dead squirrel in our living room. Well, he, he is part hunting dog. I think that means he likes you. I'm not interested in winning his affection. I'm interested in keeping dogs and rodents outside of my home. What, now hold on. How do we know it was Bucky that left that squirrel in your house? Maybe that squirrel was already there. Why else would a dead squirrel be in my living room? I don't know what kind of house you keep. <gasps> My house is immaculate, George, tell them. Uh, she does keep a nice house. Uh, honey, it's a pretty good chance it was Bucky. Whose side are you on? Yours, always yours. All right, everyone's upset, it's late. Maybe we should drop this for tonight. That's a good idea. Okay. You just keep your dog away from my son. There you go, picking it up again. I'm sorry, but their dog broke into our home, something he probably learned from your brother. How dare you? Okay, I think that's a good stopping point. You know, how do we know that your son didn't lure Bucky in to perform weird science experiments on him? My son was asleep in his bed, and you have some no... Oh, 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 oh! Hey, George! Night! I don't understand why that dog is so interested in Shelby. Maybe Bucky likes the way Sean smells. Your brother washes himself three times a day. He has no smell. Here we go, animal control. Oh, no, no, no. You don't want to go call an animal control? Why not? Because you have to live next door to these people. They called the cops on Georgie when he played music too loud. Maybe it was them, maybe it was me. Anyway, the point is, you can't go throwing gasoline on the fire. Well, they started this fire, and now they're going to get burned. I believe you've had enough coffee. Listen, why don't you let me talk to Brenda and just smooth things out? Why do you think she'll listen to you? Because people like me more than you. People like me? I didn't say they don't. They just like me more. Anyway, I see her all the time at bowling. I know how to handle her. But thank you. Plenty of people like me. Now, it says here in Mark 12, 31, that you should love your neighbor as yourself. Anybody like to take a guess what that means? Missy. It means to be nice to the people who live next door. That's right. But everybody else can go to hell. OK, Missy, we don't use that kind of language here. And if you think about it, in this world, with all the ways we can travel, everybody's your neighbor. Yes, Sheldon? How do we love our neighbors when our moms hate each other? Who does your mom hate? Your mom. Hey, my mom hates your mom. Small world. OK, let's hang on a second. My mom also hates their grandma. Because she lost a fight to her. No, -uh, she won. She said so. All right, stop. Let's stop. Now, this might be hard to understand, but living a loving Christian life isn't always the easiest thing to do. Yes, Billy? My mom's not crazy about you, either. Just love your neighbor, OK? Thursday, brace yourself for an exciting new young Sheldon. yippee ki -yay. And look out, he's got an unexpected guest. Mm. Mom! Well, even our boy genius can't teach this mm. dog new tricks. Our dog left a dead squirrel in our living room. <laughs> new young Sheldon Thursday.